From any process you can generate a Gantt chart by going to the summary and then selecting the export option Gantt chart. It'll come up. There are three different options. You can hold the tasks together, which is probably the most useful. It shows you the individual uh, tasks. So here's mold parts, stack parts, and so forth down here. And it shows you the breakout in a Gantt chart format. You can also display by time, uh, which gets a little tight, shall we say, in some cases. You can do combinations, which just runs one into the other as well. The most pop popular one is the hold together. And uh, of course, you can see easily export it to Excel here. It will generate the same chart over inside Excel for you. You see it takes a few seconds here to put it all together. And it can save a tremendous amount of time, obviously, as opposed to doing it manually. And the end result will be of the Gantt chart. You may have to change the zoom a little bit to see everything. So let's say we went to 50% here. You can see the same information now out in Excel. And this is live data. So in other words, if I make it... Uh, maybe to 75% here. You can change values over here. When say in the mold parts, when I say my duration here, let's see this was 20 here. And watch the chart changing over here with a click on it. See it right there? So you can undo that and put it back the way it was.